Hello, good afternoon. This is Nuclear Rabbit for Card Game Expert, and today I am going to be playing some Mono Red. Uh, yeah, some Red Deck Wins, as they call it. And uh, yeah, I just want to play Red Deck Wins. I'm just in the mood for some Red Deck Wins. Uh, so we have the usual suspects. Uh, we have Common Chain Wheeler. Ferocidon in the main is a cool choice. I hope it's good. Uh, Chandra, Torbron, just a very powerful uh, set of cards here. We have some Den of the Bugbears as well. We have the Cyborg, Chandra's Defeat, Four Lava Core, Royal in Vortex. This is all pretty standard as far as I know. You have Scarp Clan Berserk. And I haven't seen this card since I played it in Vintage. So yeah, this card has Vintage Pedigree. So I'm very curious how it'll do here. I wouldn't be surprised at all, at all if depending on the meta game, I prefer Goblin Chain Roller in the sideboard and Scab Clan Berserker in the main board. So, could be a thing. Uh, Searing Blood as well in here. Uh, yeah, this deck was built by Stay Conf. I, yeah, I, it looked reasonable, so I want to play it. Uh, as always, if you want to try out the deck for yourself, check out the link in the description down below and let's get to the games. And here we are for our match. We have no land, so we're mulliganing this. Our opponent revealed a Giganta, so they're on Jeskai Ascendancy or Niv Mizzet. I'm guessing Jeskai Ascendancy. With that in mind, I think I'm supposed to keep this. So keep. I, I don't want to mulligan to 5. This is a deck that can very easily run out of gas anyway, so definitely need to keep some hands. Uh, let's see, I'm going to bottom... I wish I could bottom a land, but that seems extremely greedy, so... I'm gonna bottom... The Lightning Strike probably, it just doesn't do that much, but it could be Chandra... Yeah, if the Jeskai kind of Ascendancy, Chandra just might be too slow. But there's a way to gas back up, so... Now I'm gonna bottom the Chandra. Gonna curve out Rampage for us on the top one. So it's either Jeskai Ascendancy or Niv Mizzet for them. And looking like... Yeah, it could be both. Okay, that's a land. Regret not bottoming a land now. And let's play the Den of the Bugbear. God, I love my new computer uh, settings. Yeah, this is uh, Jeskai Ascendancy. So we need to raise. We could just very easily be too slow. Like, that wouldn't surprise me. Though. Okay, yeah, we should have bottomed the land. Just getting quite unlucky here. Okay, just drawing double lands. It's just, yeah, meh. <laughs> okay, so that's a fable pass for them. Yeah, they have four mana. They could start going off now. So, yeah. Not much I can do about it. And this is definitely a matchup where I would want the Scab Clan Berserker over the Goblin Chamber. Like, Goblin Chamber has actual no text in this matchup, and Scab Clan Berserker is one of the best cards here. So I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna Lightning Strike them. I just need to deal damage. I need to curve out, so. So yeah, not very happy with this draw. And yeah, the, yeah, the, we draw on all lands. So we're just gonna play the Rampaging Ferocidon, hope for the best. That won't be a best, it'll be a sucky. Uh, Bit of uh, magic, but it'll be fine. Okay. So yeah, they're just gonna combo off. Like we have nothing, and absolutely nothing that stops them. They might just not have the Jeskai Ascendancy, which would be nice, but if they have it, I'm guessing we're dead in two, so. To Chain to the Rocks. Yeah, that definitely, j oh, they, they might be more of a controlly build with the Chain to the Rocks. I don't know. Oh my god, can we quit with the lands already? We've drawn so many lands. We've drawn actual all lands since our starting hand. If I'd known that, I would have kept the Chandra, obviously. But yeah, I didn't, so I didn't. Da, 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 da. Once they start comboing off, I'm just conceding. Like, I'm never beating them comboing. I've, yeah, I've literally drawn all. Yeah, chain to the rocks. Okay, that's a Chandra. Okay, okay, I can work with that. So. Oh, I should have. Yeah, I, I'm being sloppy again with my lands. I really need to look at that. So let's exile the top card. Uh, no, I can't. I would love to cast that one, by the way, but I can't, so. Nope. Da, da, da. Yeah, Cemetery Gatekeeper is actually one of the best cards we have in the deck right now. Okay, that's a Chikantha. Yeah, we need something here.
Yeah, they, they'll have so much mana next turn. Okay, okay, I can work with that. So let's see what we get first. So exile the top. We hit a mountain. Thank God it's off the top of my deck. And then we get to Cemetery Gatekeeper. Exile the spell chest deals two damage to the player. So we want to make sure. Yeah, we're going to target the consider. That's our best option here. So we'll target the consider. And we'll play the Den of the Bugbear. And we'll say go again. We're not ultimating this Chandra, by the way. Like, they're gonna attack with the Giganta or they're gonna kill us. Either way, the Ch Chandra's not ultimating this game, that's for sure. They're down to four cards. So they seem to have flooded out quite a bit. But they do have one, two, three, four, five. Wait, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. No, seven plus five is twelve. Yeah, they have twelve mana. So that's terrifying. Well, they do need to work around casting the instant, but of course they have the third chain to the right. They, the third one in 16 cards. Jesus. Okay, and that's Sylvan Awakening. Okay. Oh, they're just using this, this to kill the genre, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, kill the Chandra, deal us five. Oh, those just stay land. They, those stay creatures. Okay, cool. And we've drawn another land. Good, good, good. Perfect start to today. Today has been great. I um, got a call that I should get tested for COVID because I was in contact with someone. Then this game happened. And so far, I've been awake for like 30 minutes. So this has been great. What a good day. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put the Scab Clan Berserkers in. We're gonna get rid of the Chain Whirlers. And we'll... Yeah, we just need to not draw all lands. Uh, yeah, we'll keep... Sure. We have a 1-drop and a 2-drop. Oh, we, have a... we actually have a curve. Wowie. That's exciting. So one of the things I've noticed with the Pioneer decks I've been playing recently... Most of them just don't have very, very solid curves. Like they're top eighting events. That like I get my list from like top of the list I play. I get from top eight uh, list from tournament results stuff like that. But a lot of them just don't have good curves. Like this deck as well. Why are we playing just the soul scourge? Why are we running a bunch of three drops? Like get me a monastery swift spear. But we'll see how it goes. This at least is a way better So I like when you're playing an aggro deck. I just want to do something on turn 1. It'd be Lanoir Elves if you're playing green. Soul Scar Mage if you're playing red. Delver if you're playing a bad deck. Just anything. You know. Just get me going. But. Uh, oh wait. This is when it does that thing. So we're going to go ahead and just stomp right now. Stomp right now. Thank you very much. So I get an extra damage of the prowess trigger. That's mostly it. Like they don't have targets for this anyway. Might as well play it. Also I need to draw a land next turn. So. Okay. And attack. Wee. Took. Yeah, this is much better than the first game so far. We really need to draw land. But. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to attack first. If they block I can double play with fire them. And get rid of the Sylvan carry at it. So it won't be carrying at it anymore. They don't block however. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm get, I wouldn't block here. But they might. If they don't though. I deal 6 plus 4. It's 10. They go to 4. No that's not good enough. Then I need to just play the Bone Crusher. They're definitely thinking about it. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, I woke up today to a call saying that I should get tested, so that was nice. And this is an instant, so we're gonna put it at their face. So 
double spell you. We're missing out on using one mana, but oh yes, I'm keeping that one for sure. Put on top. Which is not great, but we're getting rid of a Sylvan carry added. Okay, so they lose some mana, which they really want, so. Play the land. We have a Bone Crusher. We have Idol on next turn with Play with Fire, so. Okay, oh, they just have another Sylvan carry added. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Uh, with that in mind, do I? No, I'm not playing with Fire anyway. So we're drawing Eidolon. Are they doing something? No, they're just making a tap land. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So do I Eidolon or do I play with... No, I, I play with Fire for sure. Like That's a no-brainer. I'm definitely just playing with Fire. See what we have on top. A mountain. So that gets me Eidolon plus Cemetery next turn. If, if, no, I, I don't need a mountain. So put on the bottom. Just going to play one spell a turn for the rest of the game, basically. And we'll attack. See if they go for it. They're, they're going to block again. And this time it'll be rewarded, but... They're definitely thinking about it again. They should. This is a moment where you need to be like, okay, does this kill me or not? Because my hand could be like mountain play bone crusher giant, which is not that impressive against them, but it could also be what it is, the Eidolon. So, so play Eidolon. Say go in the micro. So I'm guessing Eidolon is good against the Jeskai Ascendancy deck. Just just a just a hunch. Okay, they are thinking about as I'm yawning and waking up. God, I need coffee. I'm going to make some coffee after this match. I want coffee. Big old cup of joe. Yeah. Okay, so something's happening over there. They are playing a Jeskai Ascendancy and taking two damage to do it. So they have three more spells left in the game for them. Okay, so Chain to the Rocks. That's uh, two more spells left. No, 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 that's Chain to the Rocks. It's going to get rid of the island. They'll have a mana again. This is actually pretty scary. Okay, that's a Bone Crusher. Okay. So let's attack. We could still, oh god, I just realized, we could still very easily lose this. Okay, wait, so let's read this again. Enter the Excel card from a grave. Whenever a player plays a land or casts a spell, if it has a card type with Excel card. This counts for land? Yeah, it does. If it shares a card with the exiled card, something deals two damage to that player. So if they play a land, they take two? Is that good enough? Deals them two, no matter what. Or I can do it on instant. I'm going to put this on instant. I wish I could put it on enchantment, but such is life, so... Could also put it on creature. Well, if I put it on land, that's a sure thing next turn. Because they play a land. Oh, they can't fetch either, right? Can they fetch? Oh, they're just considering now. Okay. So they do have an instant. And this is good. This might get me more card types. Yeah, that's an enchantment. So I'm definitely targeting the Jeskai Ascendancy here. 
They could have Chain to the Rocks, they could have Jeskai Ascendancy, so I'm definitely targeting it. Although, they do, they are already comboing, but they're, they're just spamming their instants now, so... <sighs> do I go for land, instant, or creature? I'm gonna go for Jeskai Ascendancy. I wanna make sure that they can't play too many enchantments, Chain to the Rocks. They, this also prevents them from playing the second Jeskai Ascendancy. But this is a really hard call. I couldn't blame anyone for picking land or instant here. I don't think you should pick creature though. Let's consider. Oh my god, did I choose wrong? They are missing land drops though, so. Oh yeah, I chose wrong, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I definitely chose wrong. Oh well. Well, we couldn't have hit sorcery, so. And if we draw a land, we just win anyway. Although, if, if we draw a non-den of the bugbear land, we just win anyway, so. But yeah, this Jeskai Ascendancy deck has been everywhere and it's been looking really powerful. Jeskai Ascendancy is like the kind of card which is either super busted or just not very good at all. Okay, so that's two damage they're taking. Okay, so we hit the two damage off of them. But yeah, there's a real chance they just combo off now. If they don't though, we can just stomp them, so. So they need they do need to kill us this turn or gain life. If they gain one life and we don't draw land, they're also safe. Okay, so there goes the gatekeeper. Man, they've been so good at hitting that chain to the rocks. Oh wow, and they just tapped three mana and said go? What? Also we drew the den of the bugbear, so that's nice. Just gonna go ahead and boom crush the giant them. Or stomp them, I should say. This should kill them. You gain four life. Okay, so they're back to six. Jeez. Wow, just casual. I've never even seen this card before. So we'll play the Dan. God, this is sad. Like our opponent is just moping about not doing a lot. They missed a bunch of land drops and we're just like completely hopeless of closing this game out. Wow, okay. what the hell? Uh, yeah, it is a good card. Destroy target. It just does a lot. So anyway, I'm guessing we're gonna get comboed out now. Yep, that's a treasure cruise. So that's a Sylvan Awakening. Okay. Can I, for the love of God, find some damage somewhere? Oh no, they're just comboing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that game. Yeah, this game's over. GG. And we are on the play. So I'm definitely keeping this. Once again, no one. I really want more one drops in my red deck. I, I'm going to start building my own list. I'm, I'm definitely noticing that I'm getting really annoyed with the amount of curve people actually play. So. Okay, this is Phoenix probably. I'm just gonna play with five because I'm gonna curve out idol on idol on anyway. So might as well go and fish for a land. I don't need a Ferocidon. Okay, so mountain, gonna play an idol on.
And I'm gonna just play another one next turn, so. I mean, if they have Phoenix, that probably means they're dead, so. I mean, there's a real chance they can't beat the first one, so. Have myself a cup of coffee. Get some caramel in it, which is great. Th speaking of things that are great, I started a gaming channel as well. I'll put, put a link in the description. If you're in, uh, currently I'm only uploading Diablo 2 because that's the only game I've been recording with because I've been fucking addicted to Diablo 2. I've been, a, for those of you who don't know, I've been addicted to Diablo 2 since, um, yeah, for 20 years now. I've been playing it since I was in kindergarten, basically. Now, kindergarten is a bit low. Um, or like sixth grade or something? I don't know the English class system. I live in a country where we use uh, the metric system and the other system, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've been playing it since... Uh, yeah, let's just use the age. I was like 13 when I started playing Diablo. I've been doing a no fight. I've, I've been doing a Frenzy Bob Hardcore, if you're into that stuff. And that's fully recorded, so I'm going to post one of those every day. And, uh, oh yeah, they also killed my Eidolon with an Isid Charm, and then they Charter Course it. So, that, I'm guessing the second one's going to die as well. Yep, there we go. And now we can't cast spells except for the Bone Crusher Giant, the Stomp, so... Yeah, I'm gonna build these decks myself. Like, look at all these fucking three drops that we don't need at all. Like, Rampaging Frostland should be in the sideboard. Goblin Chain World should probably just not be here. Yeah, this is... Uh, like, if I don't draw a land, I'm conceding, so... Yup, cool, GG. Yeah, this... Uh, I I'm gonna start building my own list. I'm getting really fucking annoyed with the bad curves in these Pioneer decks. Uh, so we'll play Scab Clan Berserker again. And we'll play Lava Coil. And we're gonna get rid of Goblin Chain Wheeler and Rampaging Ferocidon. And we will... Let's see. Yeah, this is fine. And this is a keep. Once again, just very slow. Like, all of my... I'm playing Red Deck Wins, and all of my hands have just been very, very slow. At least this one has a curve, so I'm just gonna start off with play with fire. I'm gonna top the mouth. I, I I just want my land drop. Like I'm gonna curve out two, three, four, so I want my land drops. So let's go ahead and just stomp right away. Get it over with. So I can have six. Opt, okay, sure. That's another opt, okay. And a spiral of canal for them. So we're just gonna go ahead and play the bone crusher. So now we have some pressure going at least. And next thing I'm just gonna Chandra. That's expressive attrition. That's good. That means they're gonna take a bunch of damage next turn. Yeah, them drawing for cards while I'm de dealing them uh, for a turn. Oh, oh they control lightning axe. Okay, Bone Crusher goes away, so we'll play a Chandra. Let's see if something we do ever does a thing, shall we? So exile the top. Say go. We exile the mountain, by the way. Okay, that's a consider. They've drawn an of the they put an Arclight Phoenix in the bin with the Lightning Axe, by the way. So there's a real chance that Chandra gets attacked by an Arclight Phoenix this turn. I'm guessing there's like a one mana spell coming or two mana spell, and then a one mana spell. Yeah, Treasure Cruise seems good. Yeah, and Flame Blast. Oh, good. They have something that targets Planeswalkers, so Chandra dies. Yeah, I, okay, my quest for today is to not fucking tilt, because I am getting tilted as fuck. Uh, with that being said, let's play a Chandra. Let's plus it. And let's kill the Phoenix. So they're back up to seven cards. So, and we are down to one. So yeah, my quest is to not tilt today, and yeah, today is gonna make it rough. Anyway, they have uh, four lands. They have yeah, they have eight cards in it. Like we're gonna get fucking destroyed here, aren't we? Yep, that's a crackling trick. I can minus on that, so that's good. That's a cantrip for them though. 
So let's see if we can draw something that actually costs mana instead of a fucking land again. Our draws have been so bad. So kill the Crackling Drake. I'm just ramming up, ruining them straight up. Like I'm not even gonna bother bluffing. Sacrifice a desert. Yep. Say go. That's a thing in the eyes. And that's an op. They can't flip the thing in the eyes, I don't think. I mean, they. Oh, no, they. Have they played a land? Maybe, maybe not. That's a consider. Okay, and that's a land. So, Flame Blue. So, they have the perfect card again. Cool, cool, cool. And we draw a land. Fuck this. GG. No. No. Uh, I think I'm supposed to keep this. I have Soul Scar Mage double play with fire. And I'm just gonna bottom the chain wheel. Like, I would. I, if, the, if I was playing this deck, I would get the chain wheeler out of its sleeve and rip it in pieces. Just to make. Very clear how I think how good it is. So I'm gonna bottom it, and, then, and we're probably gonna play against like elves or something. So, yeah. No, okay, I'm not gonna tilt. I'm, I'm just not gonna try and tilt. Okay. So okay, we have a mountain. We can go some soul scumage. So mountain soul scumage. Fuck. I fucking called it. Okay, so we're gonna bone crush a giant that. I'm gonna stomp that. I fucking called it. <sighs> and attack for two. Okay, and then I'll play another X1, I'm guessing. What the hell is that? Mana Blue enters the battlefield. X So this is a Lotus. This is like a recurring Lotus panel or something? Okay, sure. Not very happy about it, but. Yeah, I'm just playing the Bone Crusher. Need to get my pressure going. Okay, so we apparently are back and we will attack. And they're playing a Sun Petal Crow. So they're like a green white deck. Oh, they're in charge. Wait, no, no, I can't say. Yeah, they're an enchantments deck? Okay. So Den of the Bugbear. I think I'm actually just supposed to kill this. So I can attack for seven. And then next turn I just get to idle on. So I play the second play with fire, I deal seven to them. Oh my god, magical line is being absolutely terrible. Okay, so play with fire. 
second one as well. So the reason I'm not playing the idol on first is because they only have two cards. So they might take two from it, but they can pre they can prevent three by doing this. So or by blocking. So I just want to get them out of the way. So deal seven. Let's see what's up. They have five. I don't know. Blood. Yeah, they're definitely just an enchantment deck. Which is fine. Like, if we're not beating enchantments, I'm just dropping the league. Just putting it out there. So, good. Another land. Perfect. So, let's play Eidolon. And I'm just attacking with the 4-3. They can trade that board away if they like. Attack with the Bone Crusher. I mean, they can double block, but I wouldn't if I was them, so. And they agree. Okay, so. Oh, this is pretty cool. Mana Bloom is going to go back to the hand deck on the plate, and it's going to be a uh, can trip him because of the Eidolon. That's pretty cool. Man, I really hope enchantments is a thing in this in this format. Enchantments are sweet. I mean, enchantress is just a sweet deck. So, okay. I think I'd go Naya for Chain to the Rocks. That seems good. Yeah, because this is while this works, it's just less efficient. So, but three mana. The three color mana curves are so bad in historic, though. I know I'd have to fiddle around with it, but I, I'm gonna write it down on my board. I definitely want to try it. So pioneer and chantress is on the board. Okay, and they've got rid of our creature, and yeah, we'll just uh, activate this. I just need to deal like a few more points of damage, so might as well play this. We're gonna just attack all. If they block the Soul Scummage, they're taking six, so they can't block the Soul Scummage. They need to block either Eidolon or Den of the Bugbear. Probably blocking the Eidolon, taking three, four, five, going to one. But then I just can just ramming up ruins them, so. This shots of their cantrip as well. Should be fine. I, I think we've got this. Like, we're at the green white pioneer enchantress uh, level. We should be able to get this. Man, Enchantress is so cool. No, they gain life. No. Why are you cheating? New no, opponent, don't. Gain one life. Okay, no. No, no, no. No. <sighs> Hello, coffee, my old friend. Man, that first sip of coffee every day is just great. Oh man, some caramel in there. Awesome. Hey, I'm gonna focus on the good stuff. So I have coffee. I'm alive. I'm breathing. I believe I'm winning this game, so that's nice. Okay, so they have one block and they're at three, so I can just... Oh god, I, I don't get that, do I? Um, so I can deal two, they block. I can ten of the bugbear and play soul scummage. Then they block, take two. Oh my god, I'm one short. Wowie. Well, let's do it. We should still be good like in a few turns. So I, I'm still thinking I'm very far ahead. 
I'm just playing the Soul Scar Mage now. It's whatever. They're, they're forced to block the den of the bugbear anyway, so nothing changes if I do it. So they'll take two. It takes two, baby. Me and you. I need more coffee. Ah, so they gain a life. Oh, no, they, uh, whatchamacallit? Okay, they, yeah, they gain a life off of the, that's a second herald. Okay, so they gain two every spell they play now. Oh my god, are we losing this? No. No, please, no. <laughs> Okay, mana bloom. So that's three mana they have. So they can play a five mana enchantment and gain two again. Oh my god. Okay, that's a dawn of hope. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two. If you do draw a card. Okay, so they're gonna get a blocker. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so. Good. Another land. Um, Yeah. This is sad. How are we not beating fucking green, white enchantments? Um, if I attack with everything. No, I'm just attacking with the Den of the Bugbear, I'm guessing. No, I'm attacking with everything because then they have to block the den of the bugbear. Do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, that's the play. That I'm making at least. I don't know if it's the play, but I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so get another token. Yeah, den of the bugbear is insane. This card is absolutely nuts. Like look at this. It's it's a land that generated six power and dealt like a bunch of damage and stuff. Yeah, they get to eat my uh thingy now, but that's fine. They just gain less life now. I will just play another one anyway of the Den of the Bugbear. Uh, why are you paying white mana? They are just randomly adding white mana to the mana pool. Okay. Play Den of the Bugbear. Say go. Please let me get there. I'm gonna be so sad if I lose to Enchantress. Mana Bloom plus Herald of the Pantheon and stuff is great. Like, Mana Bloom is really smart. I don't know if my opponent came up with it, but that is really smart. It's Mana Fix, it's card draw, it gains you life. That card is insane in this deck. Yeah, God. Speaking about insane, this is going to be really scary again. <sighs> okay, first cup of coffee in in my face. Well, in my throat, in my stomach. You know what I mean. I just drank a fucking cup of coffee. That's what I mean. I can talk. Da -da 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 -da. So they're at four. Well, they are still going to survive this, aren't they? Like, they're going to be forced to jump like the den of the bugbear again, but... They're not even forced to jump. Oh my god, we are really losing this game, aren't we? Jesus. Yeah, we are. Okay, activate down of the bugbear. Force them to jump again. Like, please let me draw a burn spell. Okay, so yeah, at least they don't get to draw a bunch of cards now. So we need to stop their engine. If they get like double Eidolon, double Herald going, we're, we're done. Like, then we are just done. I like the mana blooms, those are really cool in the deck.
Randomly added a blue mana again. Okay, play a mountain. Okay. So they need a blocker now. No, they get a bunch of life again. Oh my god. Oh, and they get the blockers as well. They can just go mana, bloom, dawn of hope. Oh my god. Okay, so that's a Satasan champion. Yeah, we are behind. We need to draw like... Lightning strike or something would be good. Yeah, we are actually very far behind. Like, they're gonna go to five again. This game is almost over and not in our favor. Oh my god. Okay. So, that being two, making a block. Oh no, they're drawing a card. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yep, they'll go to five, another four. They have a three, five though, so we need to draw like any burn spell, please. So we can get them to one. This game's over, isn't it? I'm gonna give this one more turn. Our draws have been so bad. Holy fuck. Like, I, I think this deck isn't constructed quite right. Like, it feels off. But it's not this bad. Like, this deck has looked really, really bad this league. I mean, we're losing to fucking Enchantress. I mean, come on. That's usually the sign you should just garbage can it. Yep, we are done. We're never beating that. Wow, we fucking lost to Enchantress. Okay, so we're gonna board in Roiling Vortex. We're gonna board in Lava Coil. We're gonna board in Scab Clan Berserker. We're gonna board out the Chain Whirlers for sure. We're gonna board out the Soul Scar Mage actually because we don't need it at all in this matchup. It just doesn't do much here. And we'll board out. I don't know. Like play with fire or something. Maybe rampaging for. Yeah, this stops them from gaining life. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm just warning out to play with fire. Also, this deck is running 25 plans. This is much more a mid-range deck. Uh, we'll keep this. Play mountains. There you go. This hand's insane, by the way. Like, we get to do actual everything we want in this game. It's a Lana Elf, sure. Another Roiling Vortex. Okay. So do I start with Roiling Vortex or do I start with Eidolon? I'm gonna... I could also just Bone Crush at the Lanoa Elves. Uh, I'm just gonna start with the Eidolon. They didn't seem to have removal last game, so just letting them take a bunch of damage seems great. I'm guessing they have an answer. Yeah, they had the 4 mana thing, but... We can get them away from that for a bit, because we're gonna go and stomp the Lanoa Elves now. Of course we don't draw land. Why would we ever draw land? Uh, we're gonna kill the Lanoa Elves. Say go again. And yeah, no attacks, whatever. So no land. So we've gone from... Okay, so to be fair, in this league, this deck has looked bad. <laughs> like really bad. Uh, they have removal, cool. But uh, we've drawn atrociously. Like, we've had no third land or we flooded out completely. Like, there was no middle ground whatsoever. So that's in the defense of this deck. Like, I think this deck could be reasonable if you draw, like, a reasonable amount of lands. That's, that's the farthest I'm willing to go here. Uh, Den of the Bugbear, great. That's just perfect. Uh, real rolling vortex it is. We 
We are so far behind already. Good God. Okay. So best draw is another land. Otherwise, I'm just playing the Bone Crusher. I'm guessing. So we'll take three. Yeah, they're just trying to raise the Roiling Vortex. Which they probably can. They also play Scap Clan Berserker. Actually. No, that's... Uh... So we'll take one. Okay, we've drawn another. Can we play two spells? So we can go Cemetery Gatekeeper plus Roiling Vortex again. And we take two, three, four. No, I'm going to Torbron. God seems good. Torbron. Because it makes them take three from the Roiling Vortex, which seems nice. Okay, that's a lot of elves. Yeah, and no attacks. Oh, yeah, that's very good for us. So we'll just play a mountain. Play another rolling photo. Yeah, this game's over. Like in our favor for a change. So play the bone crusher. Yeah, this game's very over. Like they'll take six here. So no attacks. We can just wait it out. Like we're playing prison now. Yeah, okay, this is the first time I've actually been really impressed with this deck. This is good. This is like really good. They are just dead next turn if they don't have an answer to the Torbron. And even then, they're very close. So let's see what's up over there. They have two cards in hand. They have a million mana. That's the Enchanter's way of life. Just hoping your mana gets you somewhere. That's a Conclave Tribunal. Okay, so that'll get rid of like a Roiling Vortex, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, no, it's getting rid of the Torbrand. Okay, okay. They're drawing a bunch of cards again, so that's scary. So let's see what they got. Oh, they have another Conclave Tribunal, don't they? Let's see, then the Crusher goes away, they'll take three, four, five, six, seven. Oh god, if they have another Conclave Tribunal, I'm probably dead. Okay, that's a sign they don't have that, so I'm gonna go ahead and not block. So I'll take two. Yeah, I just want to play a bunch of creatures, so we're gonna go ahead and play the Cemetery Gate. I'm gonna make them not gain life as well, so we're gonna Cemetery Gatekeeper on Elves. I'm gonna Eidolon, and we'll keep up the... Uh... I was taking two damage here no matter what, because uh, the Eidolon also deals me two damage when the Cemetery Gatekeeper happens. So I was taking two damage no matter what here. So I'm just going to start off by upkeep, uh, making them not able to gain life. Like, I don't want to mess around with anything here. And then it should be good, actually. So let's not make you gain life. So they can gain life. Go. Yeah, once they say go, that dead, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and block that. Yeah, I'm guessing we've won. Also, I can't play a spell, so that's a thing. So let's not accidentally play a spell. And they should be dead on their upkeep. Yeah. GG. We won a game. We fucking won a game. We did it. We did it, people. We did it. We won. Uh, oh, God. This is very slow, but I'll keep it. No.
No, don't give me a bunch of lands again, please. Please, no. So many lands. Okay, that's a herald. Lightning strike, please. Or a land. I could draw a land. Yeah, I could draw a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems good. Land, yes. Well, we have enough lands for the rest of the game. So can we not draw a land anymore, please? Yeah, this is just terrifying. Like they're four, like they're ahead on board. Like we're playing mono red. It's turn three, and they're ahead on board. So it's like, yeah, something's going wrong here, for sure. I'll take two. At eighteen. And we will draw land, I'm guessing. So, yeah, what a surprise. We drew a land. Jesus. So, let's play the Rampaging Ferocidon. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we've drawn all lands again. It's, uh, our, we've been running so bad with this deck. Okay, that's a Satasan champion. That means they don't have uh, a removal spell for the Rampaging Frostodon, though. That should be good. Oh, they oh they just do have it. Okay, cool. Yay. Man, magic is fun. Okay. And another land, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Play Torbron, get fucking wrecked. Like, I could just bend over and make it easy for them, I guess. But we'll play on. Like, if I'm losing to Green White and Chandra's with Mono Red, I'm fucking done. So, like, I'm at the point where I should probably be quitting Magic for today. And I've been awake for like an hour now, so. See? No, I've been awake for almost 90 minutes now, so. Yay. Okay, they gain a life. Top uh, they've uh, found. Yeah, they found a removal spell as well. Yeah, they're fucking destroying us. God, this deck is so bad. What's that? Let me play an additional land, okay? So uh, one of the tips I can give you when you play this deck, don't draw all lands like I do. That that seems good. Don't do that. Also, 25 lands in my mono red mid range deck is so off. Yeah, I was told this was mono red, and it's not. This is not an aggro deck at all. It's much more of a mid range deck. This is like wannabe scrap. In modern, this this deck you have a ver version of this deck in modern and it's very good. Nobody clicked on the video for some reason, but this deck is very good in modern. Okay, yeah, there are twenty five. They have nine cards in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one more draw step, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that we're gonna go to deck check in like a few seconds here. I'm so fucking off this. And that's Lano Elves, yup, 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 they're just doing stuff. And there's a removal spell, yeah, so they'll draw a card, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and we'll take tw uh, 10, so we're gonna... F we're also just dead next turn, so... So let's draw a mountain, shall we? Mountain, calling it. Yeah, they're discarding down to hand side. Okay, Torrent, yeah. I'm still dead. Well, deck review time. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I did not enjoy this deck, if it wasn't very clear yet. Uh, I'm glad for StayConf that they got a result with this. I don't see it. Like, I just don't. This deck felt 
bad, like really bad. I did draw very bad. That, that that's the only thing I might be convinced of here is that the deck is good if you like stop drawing lands at any point in the game ever. But I just don't get like why would you run Chain Whirler in the main or even run it at all? Like I did not want Chain Whirler in my deck at all this league. I can see Ferocidon kind of. Yeah, Bone Crush is good. Same, same Gatekeeper is fine. Eidolon is good. Soul Scummage, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Like, all of this is fine, but the, the sum of the pot just does not make a good deck, in my opinion, here. So, yeah, the best card in the deck, easily 10 of the bug. But, like, this is the only card that actually did a fucking thing this league. Like, we went so bad. Uh, yeah, just 25 lands in my deck that curves out to 4 is insane. Like, I could easily see, like, going minus 2 lands. Just go, like, to 23... And just add like two more lightning strikes could be a thing. You could add light of the stage would be good probably. Yeah, I'd like light of the stage in this deck just like as something that draws you cards. So that's the thing I, I I'm guessing that's the thing. You like do a thing and then you just sputter out a bunch. But yeah, th this deck has made me decide that I'm gonna build my own lists for a while because oh my god. So I bought, yeah, you're playing mono red. You just won't have that much of so Also, I, I might just want to put the Scab Clan Berserkers main. Those seem good. And uh, yeah, like two more Lightning Strike and the four or light Scab Clan Berserker main as well. That could be a thing. Maybe just Rampage of Frost onto the sideboard. I could see this. Like. Maybe play some sharks and get some swift spears. Yeah, this deck, this deck really wants monetary swift spears. Like you need to get going at something. You're not out grinding anyone with this. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm trying to be as reasonable as possible here. I uh, I'm going to quit playing magic for a few hours and then I'll go and record some more after my COVID test. That just might also be the thing. Like I woke up getting told that I need to get tested for COVID, so I'm just. Yeah, I'm just not having a great day so far. But I'm not super angry. I'm like annoyed, but I'm not super angry. So that's a win in my book. And yeah, as always, if you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, I saw that over 95% of my viewers are people watching and not subscribing. So please subscribe. It really helps. Like, it really, really helps. I, I know I mention it every video, but please do. It really helps. And... Uh, for the rest, yeah, if you want to try the deck out for yourself, if you can build a better version, check out the link in the description down below for a discount. And uh, with that, uh, stay safe and have a nice day. Bye bye.